Most of us have pain sometime throughout our life, and we want relief from it. We tend to go to our doctors, and we look for procedures to be done, or we look for drugs that might be able to solve our pain. And a lot of the time what we look for are those drugs that are called non anti-inflammatory drugs. They're drugs like Motrin, Aleve, Celebrex, uh, Vioxx used to be on the market, and all of them have side effects that are a problem. The fact is there are about 30,000 deaths every year in the U.S., from the use of these drugs, and about 300,000 admissions to hospitals. So we're not looking at something that's exactly safe. Fact is, in my practice, I don't use these drugs because of that reason. So I'm always looking for alternatives to that that can solve this problem. Now, there was a study that, that was done in Annals of Rheumatology, uh, in, in Rheumatology Diseases, in January of 2016. And what they did is they compared 1,500 milligrams of glucosamine sulfate and 1,200 milligrams of uh, chondroitin sulfate against 200 milligrams of Celebrex, which is thought to be the most powerful NSAID that we have. It's, it's known as a COX-2 inhibitor. Now, at, at six months, the effect in comparison, in comparison using these two drugs was pretty impressive. There was about 50% less pain and these were people who had severe osteoarthritis of the knee. Admittedly, for the first three to four months, there was a greater amount of pain reduction using the non steroidal anti-inflammatory drug Celebrex. However, at the, by the time six months was there, they were about equivalent. And you start looking at the difference in, in seriousness from the point of view of side effects of glucosamine and, and chondroitin sulfate, and it's much, much safer. In fact, there aren't any deaths that I know of know of that are reported to that. So we should be thinking about using that in its place uh, as a routine. Now, chondroitin sulfate stimulates the synthesis of collagen, and glucosamine inhibits prostaglandin release. Celebrex works in a way of blocking COX-2, which is an enzyme that results in lots of pain. Now, if we're going to really be serious about this and want to try and relieve pain, we're going to do everything we can to relieve it. In fact, some people, they're going to choose having a joint replacement because the pain is just too much. I know because I had a hip replacement myself when things got out of hand. But if we start doing things like using uh, the uh, glucosamine and the chondroitin in combination with collagen itself, which can be used as a supplement, with curcumin and with, bo with boswellia, it relieves pain substantially, and, and I, in my opinion, because I've been using these uh, supplements for a number of years now, the relief is really impressive. So it's nice to have research that, that shows us that we don't have to just use the drugs that are put out by Big Pharma, the ones that could be patented and, and cause the income of an awful lot of money, because the bottom line with pharmaceutical industry is return on investment, and that's money. We don't have to rely on those. There are alternatives, and now that we have some data behind it, maybe our doctors will start looking at using this approach rather than using drugs that have a terrible uh, amount of morbidity and mortality.